Hey everyone. In this video, I'm going to explain how we use the quotient rule in calculus. By now, you've probably already worked with the product rule. However, if you'd like to review, you can watch my video explaining the product rule by clicking here. Okay, so we're going to want to use the quotient rule whenever we're taking the derivative of the division of two functions, like we have in these two examples here. And I've written the quotient rule up in this bubble in the corner here. So the quotient rule says if we're taking the derivative of two functions f of x divided by g of x, if we let f of x be called u and g of x be called v, then by the quotient rule this derivative equals the derivative of u times v minus the derivative of v times u all over v squared. So we're going to take the derivative of the top function and multiply it by the bottom function minus the derivative of the bottom function times the top function all divided by the bottom function squared. Okay, so let's look at some examples of how the quotient rule actually works. So in example one, we're taking the derivative of e to the x divided by x squared. So let's let e to the x equal u and x squared equal v. So then by the quotient rule, this derivative equals the derivative of u, so the derivative of the exponential is itself, times v, so times x squared, minus the derivative of v, which is going to be 2x, because the derivative of x squared is 2x by the power rule, times u, so that's times e to the x. And the last step says that's going to be all over v squared, so that's going to be over x squared squared. And that's how we take the derivative using the quotient rule. Okay, so now let's look at example two. This says take the derivative of x plus one divided by sine of x. So let's let x plus one equal u and sine of x equal v. Then by the quotient rule, we need to take the derivative of u, which is just gonna be one, because the derivative of x is one, plus the derivative of one is zero, so one plus zero is one, times v, so that's gonna be times sine of x, minus the derivative of v, so that's gonna be cosine of x, times u, so times x plus one. And then the last step says to divide that all by v squared. So that's gonna be divided by the sine of x squared. And that's it for example two. So these are a couple of simple examples of when we need to use the quotient rule in calculus. I hope this helps, and thanks for watching. If you thought this video was helpful, please subscribe, like, and share with your friends.